Welcome back to our everyday living everyone. This looks about a bit like a shambles. I've gone too high, not too too high, I, I've gone two stacks high. Um, got some insides on the back here. We'll be heading to the scrapyard tomorrow. Still loading up unfortunately. Just got to get a bit of uh, cutting going over there. We've still got the trailer load. So um, this one might be a big payday. We're fairly heavy at the moment. I wasn't going to go too high, but um, yeah, I've gone too high. That's a fair height. Like this tree's fairly high. But anyway, uh, catch us all up tomorrow. What we've got. I know we'll have copper. Number two copper. They don't call it number two copper, but yeah, they'll, that's what we'll have. We'll have our wire, strip wire and all that. The next day. Well, we made it here. Just got to wait for the gate to open. I'm going to spin you around and show you what we actually have. This does not look good, but I know I was overweight. It felt like very heavy. It doesn't feel as heavy as what we've actually brought over previously. But, so anyway, we'll turn you around. I got it all on. I don't have to make a second trip today. I didn't bring over any pressing steel, but... I thought I would fit it anyway and I won't be making a second trip um, so I'll do a rundown on what we actually have in the trailer first I got insulated wire in this one my bins actually weigh 15 kilos each so they won't need to weigh those I so just deduct that um, that's on this one on that one over there I've got all the transformer motors that have been pulled apart so there's copper in that I think I've also got some um, other stuff in a bag as well. And this one here, we've got dirty aluminium and well as clean aluminium wire. This one here's got stripped copper wire, uh, so that's good money in there. And I think I've also got in there brass. I think I've got some brass in a bag in there. Clean stainless steel there, all the way up the front. Uh, our radiators there, we've got our pressed aluminium down the front here um, Up the back here, we've got our copper alley, alley radiators Our insides, I think I've got about 12, maybe maybe 9 uh, insides I brought the um, turntable of Prime Mover along Hoping I'd get HMS And that's what these truck rims are too hoping that we can get that all as HMS um, I've got dirty stainless in here as well we've got domestic aluminium there up the top there on the top one is extruded aluminium and the one underneath over the far is actually cast aluminium now what we've got in the drum in the John Deere drum is copper pipe uh, in the one at the front come around the side watch the traffic uh, in the front here we have trying to remember trying to remember um I on the alley that's what it is so anyway we're just gonna wait probably about another 20 minutes or so before the actual gates open so yeah definitely won't be going back for all the steel and pressing steel or anything like that but I reckon we're gonna come out at a good payday for today with all of what we have Let's cross our fingers. Let's hope it's in the in in the, the uh, four figure mark with before the decimal point. So we'll get to wait for the gate to open. Back in here. Gonna stay outside the shed today. We won't need to worry about going on the way bridge. They've got a truck door open over there doors are open here so I'm just going to park over here customer car park I'm a customer we will park like this leave the way bridge free so they can get in and out there that's good there we'll go see what we've got to do we might even 
unlock, unstrap it. Now I'll put some of this stuff on. Jeez, that's nice and Oh, it doesn't matter. Yeah, they're pretty heavy. Probably even if you come around and straight on that. So we can load them straight on. Pretty heavy. Oh, struth that light. It's over 100 kilos here. Uh, go level if you can. Level with the with the tailboard. Or underneath, it don't matter. That'll do. That'll do. Oh, Jesus, I'm stuck here. Oh. Yeah, that worked in well. That's all I got. Yeah. I'll take it in too, eh? Yeah. Sit it up there. You're a smooth driver, aren't you? Hey. Oh, Jesus Christ, I need a hand here. Because <laughs> that's got the bra, um, other shit in it too. There, let's go. Oh, strut a light. And we'll get the two small ones. Holy Jesus! You got more muscles than me. This one's oh, not heavy. One. That's the alloy one. Uh, what else you want? They're all the radiators. They're all the radiators. Maybe just the cans. Uh, where are you going to put them? I'll start off with that anyway. Yeah, yeah, you've got a fair bit in there and there and there. and So yeah, we'll go with that. Things are falling down. Oh, that's 21 kilos. It's heavier than what I thought it was. It don't want to work for you now. Yeah. Typical computers, eh? You got me down? Yeah. Oh, good, eh? Uh, oh, you're kidding. $2.64 a kilo. Oh, okay. That's not too bad. So I can take it off. I know where it goes. <laughs> yeah, do the stuff inside. I'm down here somewhere. Yeah, I knew it was down here somewhere. <laughs> there it is. I don't mind, 50 odd dollars. And I put the weight of the bin already on the top. Oh, yeah. So we just take 15 kilos off. That's on these big ones. I don't know what the small ones weigh. Yeah, you're low grade. Get a photo of that. Oh, I haven't got the phone oh, with yeah. me. I'll leave yeah, yeah. I'll get a chance before I leave. Prices are subject to change. Now, see, you needed it open. <laughs> well, sometimes the, the low grade, the PVC ones don't work. Everything else sometimes works. Oh, okay. So, yeah. uh, low grade is $2.26. Far off. 120, well, I weigh, yeah, take the 15 kilos, so I've added five kilos since, I'm, since I weighed it. That's not too bad. Whoa. 15 kilos. Yep. I weighed it my, with my crane scales. Yep. They don't do decimal points like all the others. It's the same as yours. Just the kilo increments. Yeah, kilo increments. Uh, just sit it here. Yeah. That way you can do what you need to do. You can go and do one and then do another and I can wheel the bins out of the road. Oh, struth a lot. I'm going to lift that out of there. Oh dear, I can't even lift that out. 
I had to get June to help me lift this. There we go. <coughs> I got that. <coughs> this is those compressor stuff. Oh, the ballast and ballast and stuff. Yeah. Fifty kilos, forty-nine kilos. Bag wouldn't weigh much. <laughs> That's why I put it in a bag. Yeah. That good to go? Yep. Just carry it over and empty it. Yeah, if you want, wherever we're going. Can't remember where they were. They were down here, I was having a look. You can tell me where. Yep. In here. Oh, that's right, we put it in there last one, didn't we? Bag makes it easy, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Don't let me forget it. <laughs> That's dirty, um, dirty alloy yep. wire. I just got that out of there. Oh, and that's yeah. the brass, dirty brass. That's light. That's heavy. <laughs> you see what I'm talking about? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's got um, stuff inside yeah, them. And plastic and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw a class that is dirty. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, and you can have a look at that if you like, before you drag it out. Probably easier to wheel the bin over. Yeah. See, so it's mixed. It's got different, uh, you've got yellow brass and all that sort of stuff too. Yeah, okay, that'll go as brass solids then. Yeah, so you get more for that. Yeah. So that'll be that $5. Oh, whatever. That'll be that yeah, $7 yeah, yeah. something. Yep, yeah. uh, and like I've got shower roses and shit in there as well. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I've got all sorts of see. So it's different colour. Yeah, as long as it's, yeah. And that's why it's mixed, but yeah. So it, yeah. I told you it was going to rain. Uh, <laughs> I got my window down. We'll get this done first. Uh, you want to you want to sort that out? Yeah. You wanna... Oh, jeez, I can't get that. I'll go and wind my window up. I if we can do it inside or somewhere. No, 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 leave it out there. It's only a scattered shower. I told you it was only a scattered shower. <laughs> it's gone. <sighs> that out of the road. Close that up. Get that down here. Get it close so I don't have to carry it so far. I'll get the brass out. Down on the ground. Oh, yeah. oh, don't put that on there. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good shit. I'll get the other one off too while I'm there. You got your barra? Instead of carrying that? Um, it's there. Well, yeah. Save back breaker, mate. Gotta save that back. As you get older, you'll find out that you'll need it. Oh Jesus, I'm definitely older than you. Yeah, yeah. I think you need to. And you're not supposed to lift any more than 20 kilos anyway. Going in here, are we? Yeah. Oh geez, I'd love to take that one home. Take it home and then bring it back. Yeah, you can have a look at it. No, no, <coughs> yeah, I, I it clean up. it all up. Don't worry. <laughs> Even if it's... Drum symbols. Yeah. Right. Yeah, well, the wife doesn't know what brass is, so I say, in the symbols. <laughs> I still got one at home. I'm keeping that one. Sit that down there. Right, now we've only got... We've done that, haven't we? Now, this is the bright and shiny. Yep. I don't know how much the bin weighs. So you can go back and edit that later, can't you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, good, eh? Uh, I did look at my list and it said $11.75 yeah, kilo. $11.79. Oh, it doesn't go much. Not much from that, from back in October. Yeah. All right, we can wheel that off. Oh, 
I got stuff everywhere. I do it the easy way. It's on there. It's still going to weigh it. Uh, what's this one? Uh, the um. Oh, the domestic. Domestic. Yeah. It's all the way it's down. All that lacquered. Yeah, all the lacquered stuff, mate. Yep. There's over 100 kilos in that. I know that. I looked at it and I was like, oh geez, that's nice looking stuff. And then I looked at the stuff on the ground and I thought, that's yeah. yuck. <laughs> I turn it around. That way. I'm not under it. I'm not under it. There we go. I'm under it. Should just slide out in the bin. Me bags. Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I have. I haven't teared that one out. Yeah, uh, do you want me to write the tear? Well, we can. That way I can ride on it and whatever. That way you know for next time when I bring over. Go get that one off. Get my fat tub of lard off here. I'll get my off. Yeah, I said about 10 kilos to, to the wife. Because they're, they're a lot smaller. Yeah, that was the Milby Bright. Yeah, you strip stuff. Yeah. So you put it down as 10 kilos. Ten. Oh, yeah, sweet. That's 64 kilos total. Yeah, that was about right. And not working. Here we go. That's on there. Oh, that's a fancy old jug. Look at that. Look at that. That's a fancy one. Bit of brass. Geez, you get some old stuff. Keep going in. You got it. Yeah, you should be right. It'll go into the center. You can go down. Yep, keep going, forward. About there. Yeah, about there, you're pretty centre there. You might need to come over this way. Because you're not centre of your bin there. Yeah. Go there. Go in a bit further, a bit closer, about another two, three inches if you can. Yeah, there. Go down. You don't want to spill it on the floor and have a clean up. Keep going down. You're out of mess. <laughs> clean up on all five. Is that all out? Yeah, she's all out, mate. Look at that. Look at that. Artistic. Ah, uh, so you want to do the... That's 15 kilos. Oh, this one? Yeah, all these big ones are 15 kilos. Oh, yeah. uh, and that's some more domestic, is it? No, no, that's your aluminium wire. Dirty. Oh, that's the alley one. Yeah, oh, see? Oh, yeah, okay. Yep. And then I have to weigh the bucket. <laughs> Probably only a kilo. Maybe two. Don't know, might be only a kilo. That's the aluminium anyway. Um, slow down. Unless you've got something else you got to do. Yeah, why? I don't know what you'd put it as. Covered, insulated? Uh, well, it's not PVC. Because that's, that's out of electric motors. It's actually got the um, um, oh, the lacquer on it. Might have to ask for that one. Well, that one says aluminium wire covered insulated, and the other one was PVC, aluminium PVC covered insulated. Mm. Does that mean covered? Oh, mean? You got me? <laughs> I'll see what the price of that one is. Of course, it doesn't have a price. We don't get a lot of aluminium wire. Yeah, I know. I thought, well, I had it. I might as well try it, see what we're going to get. And if we get some good price on that, I'll keep going. If we don't, well... is $2.64. Yeah, which we got here. Yep. And you've got... 
Not unless. I'd get maybe, I'll get um, Jeff to send a photo. Yeah. Hamish, who's a long he's like, he's been at Sims for like 15 years. Yep, 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 do that. You can do that. Yeah. Because it is aluminium wire. Yeah. Yeah. You can see it's aluminium wire. Yeah. And it's all off motors, you can see yeah. that. Like, I've, it's got yeah. the crowns and stuff there. Yeah, because he told me, I think, huh? what, <clears throat> maybe six months ago, he said, when you get electric motors in, actually check them. Cause oh, yeah, because they could be bloody. Alley, they're always pressing the steel. Yeah, but yeah. And see, if I'm doing this, it goes as it because you're taking the steel off. Yeah. It'd go with something else. Yeah, you got a crown there. Go ask if you can. It's like a rack of lamb, they are. <laughs> Look at that. It's like a rack of lamb. It's all good. Well, no, yeah. well, you want to put that one aside and yeah, if you want to we can put stuff. that one on the back burner for us now. We can yep. do the pure stuff. Yeah. Mate. Make life a bit easier. Keep the ball rolling. Because it'll probably take them oh, 10 minutes or so anyway. Oh, you don't get much of it. It's going to spring out when we bring it out. Drag it in there. Try and sit it in like that, eh? That's easier than trying to pour it. That's that. Now we can pour that stuff. Here we go. Let's see if we are 10 kilo. What's the difference? What's the difference between that one and that one? That says nine. I got the bags in that one now. And we put 10 on that one. I'm gonna have a look at that. Yeah, you know, I give it a kick. That says 10. Must be more plastic. Must be. That says nine. Take nine. Okay, I won't complain. One kilo, that's a, no, that adds up. Pallet jacks. Ah, yeah, well that's what I use for the IBCs. Yeah. Pallet jacks, uh, nine. Pen don't want to work. Yeah, I didn't know that you took the, um, the TV. Cables yeah, the TV stuff. coax. Yeah, so that's it goes uh, as low grade. grade. As well. I didn't know. This because it's got. I don't usually take it. Yeah, yeah. It, it's got one strand of copper and the aluminium yeah. on the outside. But yeah, and that's why I don't bring it in. Same with all the. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've seen that. Yeah. But when you get down to cat wire and that sort of thing, that's low grade as well. Yeah. Because it's so small. Yeah. All right. Squeeze. Squeeze. You got it. Yep. You might want to squeeze it a little bit tighter. About 11 kilos. Well, basically, it's that is domestic alley. Domestic alley? Yeah. Huh. Because, because what they're doing now is they're winding motors. Yeah, yeah, with aluminium. With aluminium and lacquering it. Well, that's what that is. That's, that's, that's exactly, what it is. exactly what it is, yeah. yeah so and that's what. And that's what I've been doing, you know, because yeah, so there's no lacquer. point putting it in motors because you're going to test it for a copper motor anyway. Yeah. So yeah, so domestic alley. Yeah. Uh, uh, but you do get it. Some of them are domestic, like some of them are copper windings. Yeah, yeah. So you buy that as yeah. Oh. But that. That'd be well, domestic alley. <laughs> domestic alley, yeah. Yeah. Dollar ninety one or something. Dollar ninety one a kilo, yeah. It's still better than putting it out there. No. Nah. <laughs> For me, it is. <laughs> That's the go. Keep going. Keep going. It being further back, it'll make a fa uh, funnel. Sit. You got it. Only got a little bit on the ground. Look at that. Sweet, mate. I'm going to put the bin down and you can side shift it. Right. Take this stuff outside. Got more to pick up. Oh, we got that to go, haven't we? 
He said domestic alloy, wasn't it? Yeah. I'm gonna do more of that. Yeah, that's that was 11 kilos. Uh, and then... Oh, you want a photo and stuff. Oh, a photo from the camera. Yeah, 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 I understand. Um, I understand. What is it, domestic? Domest. Alloy. I mean, domestic, so... $1.81 a kilo. No, that's not too bad. And where's that go? Ah, uh, this one is here. Dom Allen. Number four. I guess a kilo. I'm not looking. It'll be 1.5. It'll be 1.5. Oh, one. Yeah. Oh. With the lid on it, it'll be two kilos. <laughs> right, I'll chuck that in here. Finish the trailer off. Might as well. Get them out. All that pressed aluminium, look at it. There's one block there that's nearly, nearly nine kilos. Somewhere in amongst it. Where's that, Lou? I'll put the sink and that up against the fork. That way it holds it on. You want to put them on? Yep. Somehow. I'm just going to shut those through. 316 in that one for now. Yeah, we'll play that you, yeah. It's stamped, yeah, it's stamped. You can do that. Sit that there. That's the easy way of picking them up, eh? Yeah, put that on top. On there, yeah, yeah, we can. Should be enough room. Let's hope. Well, that should be able to be straightened up. What was that? We should be able to straighten this up and you fit the cans on. There we go. Put the cans on there now. Get it all in one load, that's the trial I've done then. A fair few of these buggers. Oh, that's a heavy one. A big one. Like that. One more. Double stacker. A double part, so I don't like that. All good, bro. Right. Oh, screw. I'll carry that in. Maybe not. I'm taking a pod from here, too. It's all light. You might as well just leave it there. We'll go with the cans first, eh? Crush ones. So if I'm about right, 68 kilos. That's what I weighed them all out as. See if my scales are right. Yeah, it gives you time to find the price. Two more. They're light. They've got yeah, some... Got a bit of weight on. Yeah, Well, there's 156. <laughs> oh, so I'm, I'm right. 68 kilos. My scales are correct. <laughs> Sweet, I love that. Yeah, there's a fair bit... You wouldn't think crushing it like that 
you know, how much weight it is. Yeah. So where are we going with these? Um, Next question. Just chuck them in domestic, that's all we usually do. All right. Um, yeah, I see you. See you. Well, it's up to you. You, you haven't got a bin. Well, we have nowhere else to keep them. So. Put them down there. Oh, there's already some in there. Oh, is there? I'll put it up there then. Yeah, this block here, it come apart there with the toy. So I had to do it like that. Surprising on how much, you know, it adds up. Yeah. Still got one left there. See, that's a nine kilo one. Just that one alone is nine kilos. Yeah. Do you want to do the radiators first? Yeah. Bring all that stuff this way. I'll have to tear out that drum too. These are alley radiators. Pretty light. Oh. I said pretty light. <laughs> Wasn't wrong. They're aluminium, what do you expect? The drum weighs more than the aluminium. The drum's probably oh, 15, 18 kilos. They're clean, aluminium. Yeah, clean alloy, rads. A dollar eighteen a kilo. Well, you take the loose, I'll take this. These are all out of fridges and freezers. It's out of a car. I must have used this bin at one stage for extruded alloy. I still got some pieces in here. Wouldn't weigh much. Oh geez, I'm gonna get right down there. There we go. It's only got a couple of pieces of that in there. Oh yeah, I'll put it up there, okay, whatever. <laughs> it wouldn't even weigh a kilo that. I said 16, maybe 20 kilos. 17 kilos or something. I'll go 16. Yeah, no, I go 17, it's flickering. I'll just go 16.5. 16.5. Oh yeah, you can do the po 0.5 decimal point yeah. there, can't you? Stamp. That's all it's got the stamp on it. We'll grab that all the, all this other stuff I've cut. I don't know what that is. Uh, I don't think so. That one. No, that's a shower curtain. Are they little shower curtains as well? No, that's not. That's got had holes in it. Uh, it was a um, type of clothes horse. 360. Yeah, you can do that. I've got another one here like that. I'm not sure what the price difference there is. There it is, it's on there too. Oh, there's a better, better 20 or 30 cent difference. It's not much. Ah, that's, that's, yeah, that's for your 316, mate. Yep, they're done. I'm gonna have to stop doing the long pieces. <laughs> they're in the road. No, oh, they're in the road. Oh dear! There we go. 90 kilos. Can't cheat the system. Would that stainless there go as dirty with a fluff on it? Just a question before you do anything. Wow. Would it? God. No, uh, it's only got glue oh, on it. Yeah, it'll be right. Yeah, all right. Because oh. I know the other one, it, it's stuck on, it's hard black. Tarry stuff. Oh, so it's 304 stainless. You got that? Now where's this see stuff going? the stainless bin over there, stainless 304. I can't see that far. I'll find it when I get close enough. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. 
I see it now, as I said. Small riding. Yeah. <laughs> this is Barra. Yeah, I thought of the bar, but I thought, ah, oh, bugger it, I can wheel it. I've got to get out of the pallet anyway. Right yeah, take the long ones out, eh? They're in the road. Oh, look at that, it's lighter already. Uh, yep. Noise. Oh. Nice and shiny. See if this one's any different. It bloody is. That says 12 kilos. What's the go? 12 kilos for that one. 12? Yeah. Must be thickest. I don't know. It's the same drum. No, same drum. Here, yeah, chuck that one back on. Feels lighter. Yeah, this one feels lighter. It's thicker steel, that one. That's what it Must is. Be... Yeah, thicker in the rim. It's thicker there. Yeah, okay. Oh yeah, true. Yeah, that's all it is. Sweet. Hey, don't mind. <laughs> Let's wait. <laughs> Rightio. Sit it over here. You wanna put you wanna put take these stuff out or what do you wanna do? That's uh, all the ute. Yep, so it's all We've got, because um, no. we can put. Um, so extrude up top, what's under the extrude? Ah, uh, cast alloy. Cast, okay, extrude and cast. Okay. It's all inside, except for this last small one. What's that? Is that more extruded or is that? No, that's domestic alley. Domestic? Yep. Yeah, just domestic. So it's all inside that stuff. Yep. It's just, so you got your copper pipe there, um, you got only alley in the blue one over the back. Yep. And then you got these. Yep. And I did say that it would be easier to fork this off. It's got yeah. some weight in that. A couple more over there, I don't know if you want. Them. I don't want too many. No, that's fair enough. I've got to be able to get them home. I don't want to go double high like that. <laughs> Might have some complaints going home. Like highway patrol. Just dump it down there, we'll put it in there. I can push them in. There you go. Take a bit of weight. Up. Pull out. Now I've got them on there, 51 kilos each. I've, I've already weighed the pods. Handy doing all that. Why them more before I bring it in? Thank you for that suggestion, everyone. But done that. Can't remember the person that said that. Wait before I bring it. Works out better. Yeah, you can leave the fork on there. Yeah, leave the fork on there. <laughs> the extra front bit of weight will won't, won't hurt, you know. Now, I had a comment last time from from one of you here that these rims were extruded. Yep. And so I've put them in extruded. Yeah, because they've got a yeah. hollow actually inside them. Yep. That's the way, yeah, they're, they're made. Just, yeah. So I've yeah, put them in extruded. Them. Yep. So, yeah. Yeah, everything else. Even, all good. They, I didn't know whether, you know, they're all extruded up. It's a heat sink. Yeah, right. Out of a computer. Yeah, that'd be extruded. Yeah, it's all extruded because it's got extrusions coming off. Yep. Well, I'm not four metres high now. <laughs> <laughs> I can't feel guilty now. <laughs> Jesus. And then you got a minus 51 kilos. So that's about 100, 180 odd kilos. Uh, 187 kilos. Well, that's not too bad. And where you got that one? Yeah. <laughs> Might be best to pull some out, I don't know. Go down, take your fork down a bit. As you're rotating, come down. 
That's the go. I'm not getting in the road of that. You want me to push that in? to move out of the road, don't I? <laughs> Damn, make some noise. I need new eardrums. You want to rotate more? Just go up a bit more, I'll go around there and pick it up. Pull it down, I will. Ah, oh, you got it, we'll pull, pluck that out. I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll come back and... Yeah, yeah, do that. That way we can clean the mess up too. Yeah, it's only aluminium, run over it. Oh, you got one cord here. There we go. Don't want it going in your tyre. It's all out, it's just that little CC. You can rotate back. What's that? None on the other side. Oh yeah. Oh, a little bit. Here we go. Don't know what he's doing. Yeah, he's gonna crush it down. So far, we are over the $3,000 mark. Down. Down and over, towards your left. Well, this fork side is, go in there. I got a suggestion for you. Go to the buddy Super Cheap, grab yourself a reversing mirror. Park it there, oh, one on each yeah. side. So, yeah, so, so see how you got a normal mirror here, so you can see like that. Yeah, so you'll And be... park it down here. Yeah. So you can actually see. You got someone else coming in. Yeah, that'll do ya. About 190, 200 kilos, baby. Yeah. That's a guess. It's amazing what you can get out of a petrol motor. Yeah. <laughs> Especially all the small motors. Like all the old Briggs and Strattons and things like that. Go further in, that'll do you. Rotate there. That'll get it. Up. Up. Ah, oh, yeah, buddy. Dude, way over here. <laughs> way over here. Oh, pick those up. Oh, struth of light. A shower in aluminium. Not shower of rain. Bits 
No, it all went that way. Here we get that piece out of there. Long mode motors, the whole lot, like your frames. There's about three frames, four frames there. What did the bin weigh? Oh, 517 kilos. Yeah, because that's nothing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just so, interesting on what the actual material weighs. So, 323. Oh, okay. 323 kilos. That's not too bad, really. That's take me, oh, in excess of probably close to 12 months to get that. That's not too bad. For what? For 586. Oh, damn. <laughs> I won't complain. <laughs> it's alright, so I stayed outside. <laughs> right, that weighs what? Oh, there it is up there, eh? Hey? Hey, oh, it's almost bloody a ton. That's just our domestic alimony. All your stuff in there? I don't think you will. There's a lot in that. Would it be best to get a new one? I don't know, that's, that's up to your call, not me. Unfortunately, the battery on the camera died. I didn't have a spare one. Not good on my part, is it? But anyway, it was an all good day out to the scrapyard. It was all about the non-ferrous and our insides. It was good to take the insides over. We had a fair bit of it. We were sort of a bit overloaded in height. We weren't overloaded in weight, I don't think. But I definitely won't be taking a load like that double stacked. It just looked real janky. But anyway, let's get down to what we weighed and how much it all paid. Aluminium rim, 21 kilos, $2.64 a kilo, $55.40 for the whole lot of that. One single aluminium rim, that was a truck rim. Uh, PVC copper low grade, that was the insulated copper wire, 120 kilos. Less than 15, 15 kilos for the bin. So we come in at 105 kilos, $2.26 a kilo. Not bad for low grade. 273 at uh, 273, $237.30. What else have we got? Fridge compressors and electric ballasts. Um, that's the way they call those. Uh, that was all the um, little, oh, little transformers and stuff like that. Uh, 49 kilos, 90 cents a kilo, that price has never changed. So we got a grand total of $44.10 for that one. Um, what do we got here? Brass, cast, that was the dirty brass, 4 kilos, because it had solder on it and that sort of thing. Uh, $5.27, that's a damn good price. But prices are subject to change, we all know that. $21.08 for that. Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, now this is the brass solids. There was 50 uh, kilos of that. That was all the clean brass. Uh, so we got $7. That's a big price difference there. Nearly $2 difference. $7.27.5. I don't know why they got a five, five of there. But anyway, $363.75. That's all right for 50 kilos. Uh, copper wire stripped. Yes, we were going to do a strip wire video, but we got busy. 74 kilos. The bin weighed 10 kilos, so we're going to take the 10 kilos off. 64 kilos. $11.79 a kilo. Bloody damn good price for that. What was that? The strip wire, was it? Yeah, strip wire. Jeez, I'm talking and I don't even remember. 754. Well, you can all see it there. $754.56. I'm a bit excited here, everyone. Copper domestic. This is all the um all the the, the the wire copper wire with all the resin and stuff on it. So we had 190 kilos in, in, in that. Uh, but then you take 15 off, like always. So we get 175 kilos, nine dollars twenty-eight and a half cents. $1,624.88. That's damn good. I think you can read ahead here. So wire 
Aluminium wire, pure, 21 kilos. Well, actually, we only had 12 kilos. $2.64. 20, uh, $31.68. So that's stripped aluminium wire. It go, it, we can put it as domestic as well, but um, we, we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, aluminium domestic, this is what I was talking about, the aluminium domestic. If you're getting any motors that are aluminium, it can go as domestic aluminium because we're getting a lot more of it. Um, 10 kilos, $1.80. Dollar eighty one and a half cents, eighteen dollars fifteen. So that's a bit of an insight for everyone. Now me, me aluminium cans bailed, pretty good price for this. My scales were pretty good, sixty eight kilos, dollar fifty nine. So bailed aluminium, one hundred eight dollars and twelve cents. That's all those aluminium foil trays, all the aluminium cans that we could not process. Now we've got. Aluminium radar is clean, 61 kilos. Why are they taking 17 kilos off? I don't, oh, that's the drum I had them in. So we had 45 kilos in total. Dollar, $1.18 and a half cents, $52.73. This is a long list, everyone. Stainless steel, 316, three kilos, $2.80 and a half. We should take that five cent point five off eighty eight dollars and forty two cents. Uh three oh four stainless eighty seven kilos. I'll just go to that I think. A dollar and fifty nine and a half cents, hundred and twenty four dollars and forty one cents for that one. Aluminium extruded, we had a fair bit of that. Now I do take it in an IBC pod, and the IBC pods are 51 kilos. So we actually had 187 kilos, $2.44 kilo for aluminium extruded. $456.28, pretty good for that. Uh, what have we got next? Aluminium cast, geez we had a fair bit there. Oh, because we had to tear out a, a bin and that sort of thing, that's the way they've done it. We had 323 kilos, because this was done outside. Uh, $1.81.5 cents. So we got $586.25 cents for that. Well, like I said, I think you just can all read ahead. Anime and domestic. Jeez, we had a fair bit in that one. Wish that was my price. My, my weight, I should say, 152 kilos, a bit over a ton there, uh, so it's $1.81 again, why oh, they done that twice, so we got basically $275.88 for two lots, that's strange, oh, the, the casting is the same price, yeah, aluminium castings and, and aluminium domestic is the same, Anyway, heavy metal HMS, uh, get down to that, uh, it was 194 kilos, I think that was just that turntable and the rims, $59.17, get down to the next piece of paper, yes it's a two page episode, this one, look at this, so we got our insides, HMS, uh, 668 kilos, 34 cents a kilo, $227.12. Uh, aluminium copper radiators clean. 25 kilos. $5.52 a kilo. $138. Neat. Stainless steel irony solid. Uh, 20 kilos. 97 cents. Kilo. $19.40. This is a lot to take in. Now, now, they do have take number two copper, and that is, I think that's the copper tubing. They call, they do call it number two. I did say in the video they don't call it, but they do. Uh, we got 48 kilos, $10.28.5, and $493.68. Uh, Ionie Alley. I think that's only al aluminium irony. Yeah, that's what they call that. And that's 72 kilos, 
$72.5. cents. $52.20. Now for a grand, grand, grand total of $5,752.60. Damn! Well, I'd say that's a damn, damn good payday. But anyway, if you've come this far in this video and you've enjoyed tagging along with me, flat battery and all, um, I would have loved to have got the rest of the what we got and that sort of thing in the video, but it doesn't always happen that way. So if you, like I was saying, if you've come this far, don't forget to like the video. And if you wish to subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you get notified when we put a new video out. So till next time, everyone, happy dumpster diving, happy scrapping, and stay safe out there. And do the thing you love. Until next time, everyone, cheerio.